Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, in April last year, I let you know that Microsoft had announced prices for the Windows 10 Extended Security Updates customers. And that was according to an official blog post. And I'll leave that video link down below in the end screen if you'd like some more info. Now, as we are getting closer to the end of Windows 10, obviously, you are going to see a couple of extra videos being pushed out on the channel just to keep you guys updated because obviously, the end of Windows 10 is affecting a lot of users. So obviously, I'm trying to keep you guys in the loop. And the latest now is that Microsoft has updated the documentation from that blog post, which adds a couple of pricing details as well as some extra information. So if you are affected and you are a commercial user and obviously want to carry on running Windows 10 to extend your security updates, then just to go through a couple of the so-called frequently asked questions from the updated post. Now, just a quick recap, because some of this you will get in that previous video, but there is a bit of extra information just for the purpose of today's video. How much does the ESU cost? So the extended security updates for Windows 10 can be purchased today, Microsoft says, through the Microsoft Volume Licensing Program at 61 US dollars per device for one year. The price, they say, doubles every consecutive year for a maximum of three years. ESU is available at no additional cost for Windows 10 virtual machines running in Windows 365 or Azure virtual desktop. Additionally, Windows 10 endpoints connecting to Windows 365 cloud PCs will be entitled to the ESU for up to three years with an, with an active Windows 365 subscription license. So that's how much it's going to cost you for three years, according to Microsoft and the extended security updates subscription program if you want to carry on using Windows 10 as a business user. So the next question is, is there a minimum license purchase requirement for Windows 10 ESU? According to Microsoft, for Windows 10 ESU, it's one license. You have to buy one license. And then another question is, can ESUs be purchased for a specific duration? Microsoft has this to say. They say the ESU program for Windows 10 must be purchased by year. Customers can't buy partial periods, for instance, only six months. Year one starts in November 2025, so that's this year. They also mentioned that if you decide to purchase the program in year two, you'll have to pay for year one as well as ESUs are cumulative, as mentioned previously. So quite a bit of important information just to pass it on to you guys, just to keep us all on the same page here, if you would be interested. So when will the ESU offer be available for licensing? And Microsoft says that the ESU will be available in volume licensing starting about 12 months before the end of support date of Windows 10 or late 2024. So that's already started rolling out. Okay. And the next question is, how long can I get security updates for? Microsoft says enrolled PCs belonging to a commercial or educational organization can receive security updates for a maximum of three years after end of support for Windows 10. And then the next question would be, is technical support included in the ESU? Microsoft says no, technical support isn't included in the ESU program and it will provide support for customers that encounter challenges related only to the ESU. And then the, the final kind of um, frequently asked question is, will Windows 10 PC stop working without the ESU offering? And obviously it goes without saying that Windows 10 PCs will continue to work, but Microsoft says it recommends customers upgrade eligible PCs to Windows 11 using Windows Auto Patch, Microsoft Intune, or transition to a new Windows 11 PC for the best, most secure computing experience. And of course, we have been talking about the fact that Microsoft is pushing users to buy a new PC, Windows 11 PC, which I think is a little bit cheeky. But nonetheless, they say customers also have the option to migrate to the cloud and subscribe to Windows 365 to make Windows 11 available to users on any device with a cloud PC. And then beginning October 14, 2025, Microsoft will no longer provide the following for versions of Windows 10 that reach end of support on that date. Technical support, feature updates or new features, 
quality updates, including security and reliability fixes. So that's just a quick catch up, guys. As mentioned, just to kind of keep us all on the same page. And just on a side note regarding the end of Windows 10 and the ESU program, Microsoft is also making an extended support ESU program available for consumers, so your average home user like me and you, for $30 for one extra year. And I've posted on that and I'll leave that linked down below and in the end screen because that's a little bit different to what we're discussing today regarding corporations and enterprises. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.